and just decided kind of last minute, you know, a couple days ago, throw a Molina four on the back. It was pretty cool. Did you already own the jersey or did you go? No, they, they made it up for me and Harry. Oh, so, cool. yeah. I wanted still like a little bit of blue, you know, Hawk. I didn't want it all totally baseball, so I thought it worked out well. Seemed, people seem to like it, so it was good. Did you already know you were going to do it? No, no idea. No idea. Hopefully he was watching and liked it. I don't know if he's here. Hopefully he's watching at home, but yeah, hopefully he likes it. Um, I love that event at the end. It's super hard though. Like it's, it's hard to hit that middle ten. I think maybe we all had like the wrong, uh, maybe the wrong mindset. Maybe we just all kept going for the arch. But um, I thought that's the, that's the best way, um, you know, to get the fans into it. Once it goes in, they reacted crazy. So um, I think if we were a little bit smarter, we probably would have went uh, after a few different uh, targets. But it was awesome, and and uh, that was the best part of the night. I thought, and having my dad up there, I thought that was cool. Did you get a chance to practice that at all? We went last night and just shot a couple, just basically to see the layout, just to, so we wouldn't go. I think they wanted us to see it so we could maybe think about what we were going to do, but we all did the same thing, just went right for the arch. It looked like the four was almost harder to hit than the, the ten. Well, the four is like behind. I think it's there just for like a safety if you overshoot it, but um, like if you undershoot the arch, you have no chance of hitting any. Um, and if you overshoot it, you just have that little area to miss behind, right over it. If it's to the sides, you're not hitting anything. So um, I was going right after the arch every time I know everyone else was. So um, I thought that was fun. Matthew, when did you know that Keith was going to participate in that event? I knew. I didn't think he was going to participate. I knew he was going to come up and um, and be a part of it, like be around. Uh, I probably knew that earlier today, or knew that a little bit yesterday. And um, I. It wasn't my idea to like have him shoot, but they all wanted him to shoot one. And he shot one. How, how frustrated were you? you? Couldn't quite pull off the shootout goal. Uh, oh yeah, tried uh, tried behind the back, and then uh, you know Bennington was really up there in the uh, in the saves, and uh, I didn't totally totally want to be the one to spoil it there, but um, just tried one of my favorite moves to do, and um, uh, went one for three. So I guess I'll take it there, but. Um, and then hit two out of the seven in that arch thing. So it was fun. It was fun. If I ever do that arch competition again or, like, that target competition, uh, hopefully, um, you know, miss, miss, the, uh, miss winning it by two points. So that's just one target you got to hit next time. So all good, though. All good. St. Louis crowd showed you a lot of love. Just how cool was that? Today? Yeah, it was awesome. Um, you know, I wanted to do that to show my appreciation for the city and how um, it's still, uh, you know, the city I come back to uh, for the early parts of the summer. It's still my home. And, um, you know, I've got a lot of close people here that I know were in attendance, so I'm, I'm sure they all loved it. Getting up there, yeah, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty nervous, but, uh, yeah, it's cool. It, it's tough. It, it's a tough little challenge, but it was fun. Are you going for the arch every time? Yeah, it's pretty much go there, and if you miss, hopefully you get lucky. And, uh, yeah, I got lucky a few times, but, uh, yeah, yeah. no, it was cool. It was, uh, it was fun to do. So now we're going to go out there and practice more so you can do it better next time? Yeah, I don't know where I can practice that. That's going to be a, be a tough uh, tough Good thing call. to do, but uh, yeah, after the top goal. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it's uh, yeah, it was a cool challenge. It was, I think I uh, hope the fans enjoyed it because I think we did. Explain the music choice you had. A lot of the guys chose, you know, newer songs. You kind of went with a throwback one, though. Yeah, I had to go with, uh, yeah, a little old school, a little Rod Stewart there. Um, yeah, I like something with a little bit more rhythm, uh, something kind of. Hopefully it would have put me in a rhythm where I could get a few in a row, but uh, it didn't. But yeah, I just wanted uh, something something uh, people could move to a bit better. How cool is the moment being bred up there and just have the crowd go nuts? Oh, it was awesome. Uh, yeah, we kind of kind of had it. We're sure we're gonna find them, and <laughs> we did. And uh, yeah, it was awesome. We came up and did that. Uh, crowd loved it. It's nice to see that reaction. Obviously, he's one of the greatest goal scorers of all time. So it's uh, it's cool to see him get that reaction. Did you know you were gonna hit that last one when they gave you another shot? <laughs> I didn't. I don't know. It's, it was tough. There was a lot of pressure on it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. There was a lot of debate up there if it went in or not. Uh, I don't think Marner was too, too happy about it. How good to see the Blues alums being a part of this tonight? Yeah, it's really cool to see. Um, you know, this, this organization is definitely so tight that way. And the amount of alumni that are around, it's, it's something special. And, and I think it's, it's got to be one of the highest in the league where guys, when they finish their careers, end up staying here and raising their kids here. It just shows a lot about the city and the organization and how everything here is first class. And to see them come out and be a part of it, too, it's just uh, it's just great for the game and this, you know, this team. Prepare and we'll see what he has. How about the thrill of winning this thing with the hometown crowd really cheering you on? Yeah, that was special. Um, it was a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, getting that last save hit, well, hitting the post, uh, I'll take that from Lyon. And, uh, 
Yeah, it was pretty special just doing it at the home crowd and, and just hearing their energy and feeling their energy and, um, you know, people were happy. And I think, you know, overall this was a, f a fantastic evening and, um, you know, everyone's had a good time. We were having a great time in the locker room and, um, you know, the women's game was uh, very impressive and um, yeah, all in all a great night. Knowing that you have 10, 10 saves to win, did you think it would be possible to get that straight? Uh... No, yeah, watching uh, Bassey there, he, he, uh, I was kind of like, yeah, that's a tough one to follow up and, uh, you know, just try to get focused and, um, you know, got a couple good bounces for sure and you, you, need, uh, you need that sometimes and it's not always pretty and, um, you know, it was, uh, it, was a, it went well, right? So uh, we'll take it and um, we'll have some fun tonight and tomorrow night and uh, hopefully have put on a good show tomorrow night. Yeah, you know, there's uh, some money on the line and uh, something to win and something else to to put on the list of, of accomplishments. And um, for me, it's important. I'm very motivationally driven and uh, setting goals. And uh, you know, I wouldn't say this was a goal, but uh, I definitely uh, wanted to win. And um, as we got going and the crowd was getting into it and it was getting loud, it was special and. And uh, it's nice, uh, you know, I was kind of more freeing. I could be a little more outgoing uh, when it wasn't a 60-minute game. And uh, it was, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun, and I'm happy I got to be a part of it. And, and being at home in St. Louis um, is special, and uh, I, I enjoy it here. Do you feel any pressure in front of the hometown crowd? Yeah, you got to live up to the hype sometimes. And, uh, you know, I was the last guy probably for a reason. And uh, I'm happy with how it played out. Um, I wanted to put on a good show for, for the good people of St. Louis and, um, you know, for the for the viewing people. And, uh, yeah, you know, things went well. And, like I said, it's uh, I'm happy to be here and uh, I'm very happy with the outcome of that. It's just a couple of drinks the last few days. I think you said you right, just kind of relax a little bit. So mixing in a little business and pleasure. Yeah, I probably should have kept that to myself. Uh, it wasn't anything crazy. Just I, I just, you know, you, I think it's important to take these days to get away and, you um, just for the mind and, and the body a little bit and um, you know coming in today I really didn't know what to expect and came on the ice at a brand new equipment um, and you know I just try to have fun with it and the advice I've been given is just to enjoy the moment and um, have fun and that's kind of what I, my outlook was and uh, it worked out for us.